Hello, everybody. My name's Big Citrus, and let's get into it. <sighs> I really didn't want to make this video. On February 4th, 2019, Apex Legends was born. And just a little over three years later, we are now going to talk about the day that Apex Legends died. For all the people who are just rage-clicking this video to comment, and dislike, and call me mean names, that's perfectly fine. I understand if you disagree with my assessment of Apex Legends currently being dead, but in my opinion, from a creative and community standpoint, this game is dead in the fucking water. And that uh, really pains me to say that because I love this game. When it first came out, I was addicted to this game. It truly felt like a refreshing addition to the battle royale genre, which at the moment back in 2019 was at an all time peak. Apex, in my opinion, is the greatest battle royale game of all time. I've enjoyed streaming this game, playing it, grinding ranked, I've enjoyed making videos about this game, talking about the game itself, making comedy content for this game, hell, I've enjoyed making music for this game. But even over the course of this last year where my views were a fraction of what they were, I continued to make Apex Legends content because it was the game I loved, it was the game I enjoyed, and now that time has passed. So what went wrong and what was the day that Apex Legends died? Well, if you just want the answer, I'll give it to you. I truly believe that Apex Legends died on September 20th with the release of the Beasts of Prey collection event. It might sound a bit weird, a lot of people are probably expecting me to say with the release of the new Season 15, but no, I truly believe September 20th is the day that Apex Legends died. If you want to find out the real reason why, well, stick around, don't worry, I'll make it quick, I, I don't want to beat this dead horse for too long. Literally. Like I said before, when Apex Legends came out, the Battle Royale genre was insanely popular. You could literally just release a game in this Battle Royale format, and it would probably do well if it was free to play. We got so much fucking garbage Battle Royale games, but I saw a lot of them do decently well, mainly because of the free to play with Battle Pass business model. But I think most of it was just the fact that Battle Royales were new. PUBG didn't really like blow up, blow up until 2016. I don't think it would be hyperbolic to say that currently the Battle Royale genre is dead. I made a video on this some time ago, and I don't really think a lot of people listen. I had a lot of people saying that, no, I see the Battle Royale genre not failing for another 5 to 10 years. Well, uh, look where we are. The performance of games like Warzone and Fortnite has drastically decreased. Yes, they're doing mostly well monetarily, like they're making decent money through microtransactions, but the relevancy in the community of these games are fucking dead. Apex was really the only battle royale that was being taken seriously over the course of the last two years as a competitive esport and as a fun, casual battle royale experience. What the fuck happened? At the end of the day, I can literally just tell you three simple reasons as to why this game is currently dead and why September 20th was the day it died. The other two reasons I'll go much more in depth on, but reason number one is that the battle royale genre, like I said, is currently dead. I think I've explained it well. The battle royale genre is no longer new. People are not super interested in this concept anymore. People are not super interested in this format. People are moving on to other things, and with the release of Overwatch 2, a lot of Apex players, including myself, have gone back to the game that we used to be addicted to, Overwatch. We were really loving it. It's refreshing to not play a battle royale where when you die, or if you get unlucky at the start of the match, you're going to be going back to the lobby, queuing and waiting up to, you know, a few minutes to get into a new match. Battle royales have a lot of issues and can get very stale very quickly, even if the core gameplay is fun. As a core game, Apex is very good, but the battle royale genre is stale, and I think people are moving on to other things. But I feel like one reason Fortnite does so well is because they're always adding crazy new content, crazy new skins, and incentives, and things to keep players coming back. Apex, however, does it. Reason number two, this game gets no new content like fucking ever. I made my first video on Apex called What Your Apex Legends Means Is About You. What was it? It was like February, March, or April of like 2021. And the game was experiencing a level of resurgence at this time. I was getting back into it, so my friends were getting back into it. And when I made this video, I never expected that it would do as well as it did. Over the course of these last almost two years, we've gotten seven new legends, three new weapons, two new maps, 
And that's basically it. In terms of actual new game modes, we have gotten one, which was arenas. We've gotten control as an LTM, but honestly, since it hasn't been added as a permanent game mode to the game, I don't really count it. I was convinced they were going to add controls a permanent game mode to Apex because it was just something fun to do that wasn't battle royale or arenas whenever you just kind of want to like goof off and not take everything as seriously. But no, they never did. They kept adding it as an LTM. I think it was a crucial mistake on EA and Respawn's part because this game needs more content, not temporary content. It needs new permanent content. The collection events that we have gotten are not actual collection events. Yes, there's a prize tracker and all you have to do to earn these quote unquote prizes is just play match and get XP. That's literally all you have to do. And if you actually want to complete these quote unquote collections, the only way to do so is with your wallet and dropping like $100 $200, getting a new heirloom, getting a new prestige skin, and completing the collection. That is not a collection event. That is just a process of stealing your mom's credit card while she's asleep at 3 a.m. All these collection events ever add is some new skins that you have to pay to unlock, and that's basically it. Sometimes we've gotten LTMs for these events, but they're always just things that are recycled and never that fun or interesting and not really actual new content. The new content we get every new season of Apex is basically just a couple changes to one of the maps and that's basically it. You'll basically get one new location on one map and that's basically it. We were getting new weapons every season and then they stopped in season 11. Now I would be fine with not getting a new weapon every season if the weapons were better balanced. You're really only gonna wanna be using like four or five weapons at like high ranks play because they're just, you know, superior to basically every weapon, even though there's like 20 in the game. Same thing goes for the legends. Yes, there's a lot of legends in this game and most of them are very diverse and unique from one another and fun to play. However, in ranked, you basically need to be playing the three right characters at the same time, which is usually some combination of Gibby, Caustic, Seer, Valkyrie, some shit like that. And none of these characters, in my opinion, are that fun to fight against, especially Seer, which I don't know why they keep adding more recon legends to the game. Wall hacks in a battle royale are just not fun to play against, especially when something like positioning is so important, yet they keep adding more recon characters, like Seer, who can literally just scan you through walls and cancel your heals and throws an ultimate and gets to know like your every fucking single footstep movement, and if you fart or cough and breathe in any direction, it's awful. Also, aim assist needed to be nerfed, and I'm tired of fucking pretending it didn't. Now the Apex Pro scene is over 50% controller players. You usually only had like 10 or 15% controller players back in the day, but now basically every actual pro player is on controller because at the end of the day, aim assist is just easier to use. It's more consistent to get kills with. I'm sorry, this is literally just a fact. If you know anything about the game, you know that I'm right. They kept on kept on removing like fun things that you could do on keyboard and mouse, like tap strafing and other movement text. They kept nerfing these things and like zip line bouncing. They kept nerfing these things instead of just doing the smart thing, which would have been making their way for controller players to be able to do these same movement text that keyboard and mouse can doing. But now if there's just no reason not play on controller, there's no reason just to not play on controller anymore. I do not care what anyone says. And it's really boring to watch the new Apex Pro scene. All you see in the Apex Pro scene now is just someone holds left trigger and they instantly just get to auto beam laser someone with no recoil and one clip them with a fucking SMG and they die instantaneously. It's not fun to watch. It doesn't really seem like there's any skill involved in it. Even the pro players themselves admit that playing on controller gets boring and it's not fun for them to do. There's a reason why pro players and streamers are quitting this game every single week and it's because of shit like this and EA and Respawn not listening to their community. Which I guess leads me into my third reason. Ranked and unranked on this game is a nightmare. I guess I just gave a bunch of reasons why the current game is kind of a nightmare. As good as Apex is as a game, if you actually want to do well and win consistently, it really feels like if you're playing ranked and you're like platinum or above, if you're not using the right characters, you're not using the right weapons, if you're not playing like a pussy the whole match until final circle, you just lose. I feel like Apex used to be more fun, fast, and fluid. And yes, I I know you can make the argument that everyone try harding on the game is what makes it unfun and basically everyone who plays apex nowadays is a sweat lord wraith ttv wannabe i get it it makes the game unfun also the matchmaking on this game is just awful if you're like 
diamond or above it, you're going to be playing against predator players and pro streamers every match because it's a battle royale. There's 60 people. There's just no way to get 60 people who are the exact same skill level in a lobby. It just doesn't work like that because there's so few people at diamond or above. You're never going to get a balanced matchmaking at the higher ranks and at the lower ranks, you're just going to be competing against a bunch of Smurfs because it's a free to play game with everything I just said in mind. You might say, okay, let's go play some quick play. Oh, wait, you want to play a casual unranked public matches? Good fucking luck. You're going to have one of two matches, no matter what rank you are. You're going to have everyone dropping in the exact same location. Everyone's just going to die off drop immediately. So if you're not dropping in the same spot that everyone else is, like Fragment, for example, you're not going to get to play the game until like 20 minutes halfway through the match. It's going to be horrible. And you're going to have the people sweating their fucking ass, cock, dick, and balls off trying to be tap strafe Timmy. Pubs do not play like the real game. Every time I play pubs, I usually just land somewhere and I stomp people until I get killed by a third party, like halfway through the match. Everyone I know is experienced with pubs is that. And in a lot of these pubs matches, it feels the same as ranked. If you're an above average player, you're going to be getting pred players in your pubs lobbies all the time anyways. People legit just stopped playing ranked because of how unfun it got and just started predator triple stacking pubs. And honestly, those people are really cringe. Yes, but I kind of understand why they did it. Now, with all these frustrations laid out, right? All these frustrations laid out with how pubs plays, with how ranked plays, with how the games feels tedious and annoying with tons of recon characters and tons of defensive characters like Gibby and Caustic to where if you want to push into a building, you can't because they got shields and fart traps laying around. With all of this in mind, at least hopefully there's another game mode you can go play to enjoy Apex's insanely good and refreshing core gameplay mechanics. Oh wait, your only other option is arenas, which is honestly just some of the most unfun, boring shit I have ever played in my life. It's basically just 3v3 deathmatch, but it's so slow and boring and the maps for it are awful. And that's it. That is all Apex has to offer anymore. And I'm sorry for drawing it up for so long, but this is truly the reason that I believe September 20th is the day that Apex Legends died. It was the Beasts of Prey collection event, another collection event coming around, but this one with a twist. See, season 14 had come out recently and it wasn't really doing that well, but season 15 was on the rise. And with season 15, from all the leaks that we heard, we're getting a new legend catalyst and we're getting a new map, which is Divided Moon. Season 15 needed to be huge. And this was the last collection event to really retain players before it came out, because guess what happens on October 4th? Oh, Overwatch 2 launched and yeah, I mean, just say what you want about Overwatch 2, but it's been pretty fun and it's done insanely well so far. This was truly, in my opinion, Apex Legends. It was EA and Respawn's last chance to hook players in and get them bleeding red Apex Legends blood and really get them hooked in before the new shiny toys came out and before they got completely burnt out. And what LTM did we get? What brand new game mode did we get? Finally, a new original game mode completely unique to Apex. We got Gun Run, which is just gun game from Call of Duty. Now, was this game mode that bad? Not really. It was a limited time mode instead of just something being added to the game and a game that is so content starved. It needed an LTM to be refreshing. I played Gun Run once. I dropped like 5k damage. It was okay. I never played it again. It was basically just gun game. I played gun game in a million different FPSs before and this is not what the game needed to be successful. Also, we've been promised things like cross progression for a long time and custom games and private lobbies and we still haven't gotten those and this was just another sour but dull content update that did not meet people's expectations i genuinely think for myself and many others it was the last try you can look at the player charts and this basically supports my theory the new season had a decent debut but for the most part i don't really think anyone actually fucking cares about the new season of apex legends which is really sad to say because i think at one point this game really was the best multiplayer game currently out. I think over the course of 2021, this game truly was really good. And now, I don't know. It's truly sad to see it all go down this way because I loved Apex. When I made something, when I made content for this game, I tried, I tried, really I did to put my all into it, right? I really did genuinely love it. But now I really do honestly feel like it is just a shadow of the game I fell in love with. Respawn and EA truly do not seem like they're listening to the community on things that need to be nerfed, on things that need to be buffed. 
constant additions that people think would be great for the game are constantly being ignored in favor of just more skins being added that don't really do anything. I know a lot of the criticisms I have said could probably be labeled towards Overwatch, a game that I have praised a lot recently. But at least with Overwatch, it's a completely kind of different game. Also, there's already just a lot of content in the game to begin with. Apex is not, I don't know. It, it, it's not comparable in my opinion. God, wow, sorry. That was, uh, that was really bitter and uh, I apologize. But the truth is I've been holding this in for a while and honestly, it just feels really, really, really good to get all of that out of my system so genuinely leave your comments about what the day you think apex legends died was or what the real reason was i would genuinely love to know your guys' thoughts honestly i do think i will probably make apex legends content in the future i still love the game and i imagine it might have a resurgence one day as it has had before but at the moment i'm currently just not really feeling it i've been big citrus and have a damn good one